Uh. What kind of blood is it? Who are you? Take the moss and run! Welcome back to my masquerader. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Para, your host, and today we're going to continue playing Not Involved. The developers reached out again and told me that chapter two was out. Now, if you guys remember a little while ago, we played chapter one. It ended like this. Ugh. You eating birds, dude? So it was very confusing. I don't really know if it's gonna make me start from chapter one, but uh, let's begin. Okay, so yeah, it's almost exactly the same as last time. So we were here, Amari was eating freaking chicken wings, and I don't even know how to explain this. Amari, what the heck are you doing? Um, yup, yup, yup. Amari, drop that! Amari can't seem to hear you. He just stare blankly into space? I think that sentence is supposed to be, he just stares blankly into space. Amari, stop! Amari? What the heck is happening? Someone? Uh -huh. Who's someone? Grr, Amari! Amari, drop that! Drop! There's someone else here. The voice comes from a dark corner of the room. You can't figure out who or what it is, but you know it's there. Who's there? Er, who's there? Me! Me! Oh, it's a bird! As you get closer, you begin to hear a rhythmic sound of chattering teeth. It's coming from under the blue rag. You grab the rag, pull it away, and see there... Ugh! He's gone mad! Completely mad! He can't talk! Can't talk! Tell me what happened here. What's up with Amari? <laughs> Wait, he's eating one of those freaking birds, but there's he keeps one as a pet? He's gone mad! The girl! Small! Dark eyes! Scared! Scared! The girl? Small! Dark eyes! Eyes! She's scared! Scared! Yeah, you're not being very helpful. The girl was here. I I got it. Is she okay? She run! The slaughter starts. Go run! The slaughter? Are you talking about your... Amari, stop it! Don't kill them! Amari, get yourself together! Together! He'll be here soon! Everything will be fine! Run! Run! I'll get to you soon! Where can I find her? Ah! Eat! One eat! Arr. It sounds, uh, <laughs> sounds like it's not like a pirate. You drop your bag and rummage through it to find something the bird could eat, well aware that the bird might just be mimicking asking for treats. It sounds like Amari. Okay, let's make a deal here. You can have all the nuts in this bag if you tell me everything you know. You get to talk and you get to eat. How's that? Eat, eat. I'll tell. Give you nuts. I'll give you give me nuts. Whatever the frick. Deal. Talk first and then it's all yours. Girl, girl. No, girl be here a lot. Not anymore. Now scary. Er, she knows. She knows. <laughs> she knows. What does she know? She knows. Seems like you won't get anything else from this stupid bird. And about the girl, Amari didn't write anything about her. Give nuts? Right. You get to the window and prepare to pour nuts on the windowsill. How can I help Amari? Does the girl know? What's her name? How do I find this girl? Where does she live? Yeah, how do I actually find this girl? Two floors! The narrow hut! The narrowest! Not far! Uh-huh. You helped me a lot. You are free now. Thank you. Here you go, you little nuts. You pour nuts on the windowsill and take a step back. Something's off. Why is the bird here and it knows stuff? Goodness, is that him pecking the damn windowsill? Pa! How do you even? It's not even like a bird. It has actual, like, teeth. The bird finished eating its reward and turned to you. Its voice changed. Are you one of those? What? What are you talking about? You walk silently. It doesn't get warmer for you being in the room. What? The bird's voice distorts even more. So that's how it is, dirty maggot! Leave me be, liar! Worthless! Don't tell them! Don't do it! Let me go! You suddenly realize that you're talking to someone intelligent. It isn't a dumb bird. Why are you doing that? What did I do? You bastard! You lied! Because of creatures like you, I ended up in a cage! None of you want to change! Redeem yourselves! You only pretend that you want to help! What are you talking about? Nonsense! <laughs> Mari's still in the background like <laughs> Why is that? I've studied to become a doctor. I help people. I want to and I do help them. Yeah, right. Well, doctor, tell me this. Have you already just helped someone in this town? Um, I was in a rush to my friend. I had no time to help anyone else. Well, I mean, I helped you. How did you help me? I've just released you from that cage. Well, maybe you release me now as well. Hmm... 
Okay. I'll let you go. You release the bird. It flies off after some time. I hope it was the right decision. Hey, no, 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 no. We'll be back. How about we just, like, knock Amari out? You look around before you leave. Amari most likely won't leave. He's in a bad state. No more nuts. It's fine. That's it. Time to go. Amari, I'll be back soon. Hold on, friend. Bye-bye. Oh. Hello. Death to maggots. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, what? I'm sorry? Okay, stupid little bird. Firmly holding the resisting bird, you abruptly shove it inside the cage and lock the door. Death to you. Death to you. I wish I could change your mind, but I have no time for that. The bird suddenly stops flapping and opens its jaw. Don't bite me. I hope it was the right decision. Heck yeah! They freaking betrayed me to some potato dude. You close the door and look around. You see a crowd in the distance. It's loud and... The smell. This is the smell of burnt rotten meat. Yeah, I also realized that the voice was some other, like, entity. Something has started. Let's find the girl as soon as possible. Look! Isn't this the hut we're looking for? You look at the flimsy two-storied hut. Probably, let's check. Who are you talking to? I wonder. We can sneak or make a detour to get around him. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna approach the man to ask directions to see if I get like an ending or just like die. You approach the tall man. Greetings. Could you just tell me how to get- The man turns and interrupts you. Oh, goodness. Oh, here's the maggot. Cut me himself. Now you'll get it. His smirk does not bode well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I kind of expected that death. I'm sorry, Doctor. I love you. I didn't mean to put you in danger, but I want to get all the Chapter 2 endings, so yeah. Sneak past the man. You sneak past the tall man. The closer you get to the man, the clearer you hear the song that he sings under his breath. Oh, finally. I have the right to kill someone at will. Oh, maggots and undead are gonna be all killed. And here and there and everywhere I will, I will, I will. Oh, finally, oh, finally, I'm going to kill. Back, back, back. He hasn't noticed you yet. There's a chance that he's not talking about you. You better be safe than sorry. You decide to take a detour. Alright, so I got all the things there. This is an old rickety two-story hut with boarded up windows. You get to the door and knock. None answers. We've been in this situation already, haven't we? Maybe it's not locked. Try opening it. The door won't budge. You knock harder. Nothing. What are you waiting for? Try looking around. Jeez, calm down, voice. You've decided to look around and notice a small space in the window between the boards into which you could squeeze. Do you need any help, friend? Skeleton! Oh, that's you! What happened to him? What happened to your legs? Well, the folk hate us. Me in particular. I'm undead. I bring diseases and so on. Isumir. He hits me from time to time. At one point, he ripped my hand off. That was before tis night. And today, I was almost crushed. Imagine being crushed while you're still alive. Then they'll bury you in a grave where you'll spend... Spend eternity. Today, something happened to Isumir. He was acting weird. He came to me and crushed my lower body into dust, yelling, Purge undead! Death to all the maggots! I barely escaped from him there. Now I try to avoid people. Something really bad is going on. What the heck? I don't really want to go into the house yet. This can't go on. That's how people are. If they hate, that'll be with them for a long time. They make others go as far as possible. Some to the forest, some are buried alive. <laughs> I mean crushed or cut into pieces and buried. I thought that such a fate would bypass me if I enjoyed everything and be friendly in spite of everything. Silly, silly me. Sure, we've done a lot of wrong while we were still human, but... But we were given a chance to redeem ourselves, right? Yeah. We were given the second life. I... We... A lot of us were trying to make things right. And now everyone in town are taking this opportunity away from us. And for what? We just wanted peace. Neither talk nor any consolation from you will help him. Moreover, you have more important things to do. Shut up, voice! I'm, I'm being a therapist right now, just like I was in the first episode. <laughs> Could you please help me get to this window? Sure. Whoa, he's so tall. He's so tiny. 
skeleton crawls up what to the window and helps you get to the hole in the window. If that's is, is that a sentence? Oh my gosh, what did I just read? Squeezing in, you fall in a very dark room. You are so cute, little buddy. Suddenly, you hear sounds coming from the other side of the wall. Hey, men! I found Dismir's creeper. He's here. Decide to take a breathe. <laughs> Come over here. The pounding of many feet approaches at the place where you were just standing a few seconds ago. Thought, Thought you could redeem, redeem yourself by doing chores for the Ismir, you shit. Let's, Let's kill this scum, stop. men. No. Oh. oh. No. Well done, men. One less undead. Let's deal with others. So they're all like humans? Footsteps tail off. Mr. Skeleton. Why? I... I didn't... even ask his name. Do you really need this? No time for whining. Focus. We're inside. Time to find the girl. Shut up, boys. I'm mourning. Once you get used to the darkness, you can see that the entire first floor looks thrashed. Chairs and tables overturned, drawers poured out, doors thrown open, sub-cabinets knocked over, blocking the front door. And there's a ladder leading to the second floor. Um... I think I know she's in the second floor, but let me just see if I call hello are you here i come from amari he's in a really bad state i need your help nobody answers place looks abandoned go check the second floor you decide to use the stairs when suddenly do not move is it fake you slowly reach out and touch the spider oh no reaction damn well done scares to death you overcome an obstacle and see a door. Are you the girl? Who... Who are you? What... What... Do you... Do you need? I don't even know if she likes Amari. Don't be scared, I'm from Amari. Amari sent me a letter asking me to come to him as soon as possible. I was too late. The bird in Amari's hut told me about you. The girl tenses up at those words. Don't worry, I locked this bird in a cage at Amari's. But... but he will eat it. Yeah, you haven't thought that through. Well, whatever. Yeah, and then the bird betrayed me, so I'm not really feeling that guilty about it, girl. <clears throat> um, do you know how I can help Amari? Y yes, I, I know what kind of herbs to collect. Great, let's go then. You can tell me all about the rest on the way. No, I... You see that the girl shrinks even more. I am afraid to go out. What? Why? Dude, because there's freaking uh, uh, maggots and uh, undead purgers out there, and uh, this girl looks like she's about to get persecuted. I I look like a walking corpse. They they will kill me or make me go to the forest. You look nothing like a walking corpse. Sweetie, you're so cute. Got it. Tell me how I can help Amari. I'll do it myself. Why do walking corpses need to be chased away into the forest? That's actually a good question. They, they are undead. They stink. They spread diseases. They disturb folks' lives. Her eyes begin to moisture. Do you think so? No, no way I think differently. Folk, folk think that the undead and maggots have no place here. They, they all have to be gone from the town. Monsters live in the forest. They kill. Folk hope that the forest will purge all the undead if they make the undead go there. I see. So there is monsters inside the forest. Please, tell me how I can help Amari. You need to go to the forest. There, you will find a clearing surrounded by 12 sycamore trees. You will find wolf moss at the roots. It is black with brown spots. Sawaki is... You interrupt her. Under the rocks, I know. I have Sawaki with me. Look for the wolf moss at the roots. Black moss with brown spots. Got it. Should I be remembering this? I'm gonna suck at this. I'm guessing it's for the poison that will help Amari, correct? The potion, not poison. Yes. What's the proportion? Pound everything, but bring it to a, to, to a boil. I know that. The ratio? The ratio of water to moss to sawaki. Five to two to one. Got it. Thanks. Alright, um... Ooh, give a girl a gift. Hell yeah! It's not the time. Frick you, Naderator. Tell me more about what happened to Amari. Why are you here all by yourself? What happened to Amari? I've known him for a long time. He's not the type of person to eat birds alive. 
he is, um... It's a side effect to... To the potion he came up with. He warned me, but I thought he was j j just joking. It turned out to be true. A day or two before your arrival, I was, um, I was at Amari's. He looked horrible. He was eating birds alive. This was such a horror. He started yelling at me. That's how I was left alone. Again. We'll help him get back in shape. Don't worry. You will visit him again. You take a step forward to give the girl a pat on the shoulder, but you immediately back away when you notice how she tenses at your approach. Yeah. You sue wounds better. Jeez, thanks. Why are you here by yourself? I... I was alone all the time. At first, however, everything was worse. There was no blockage on the first floor. There used to be no need to defend against anyone. Nowadays, it's different. I mean, what do you mean it was always like that? Okay, I know she kind of like did the spider. That's kind of like a dumb question to ask. But sure, I'll ask it because I'm trying to get like everything that I can. Yeah, that was me. Okay. Wow. It scared me good. Really? <laughs> he has one leg missing though. Girl's eyes lit up. I made it from burlap, which I had a lot in the basement. No one will notice the color in the dark. Nice. I stuffed a huge pile of weeds that I gathered in the forest into the burlap. The flowers will be better without them, and I will have a filler. It was hard to find a needle and thread to sew it, but Flint, our mayor, helped me out. He gave me the needle and thread. Imagine that! This is awesome. I also plan to move his paws. I need a rope for that, but I don't know how to wave it myself. I walk around the town at night to try to find a rope that no one needs. Let's make a deal. If I find a rope along the way, I will bring it to you. What do you think? Are you for real? Yeah, sure. Thank you. So, I want to tie the rope to each foot with one end and the other to the mechanism that will move them. I would be able to set up each of the mechanism for each paw individually. Oh, when was she shot up? Not that I care that much, but Amari has lost his mind and you listen to the girl? Splendid. What if he chokes on a bone? Have you thought of this? It will be on you. It will also be possible to add sound using, um... I mean, damn, I don't want to be mean, and I'm already here, so I might as well continue listening. Maybe I could use a saw? There would be a mechanism that would run something along the saw, so that it makes a long and strange sound. Or I could get by with the sound of falling dishes. Hmm. I should think about how to protect myself even more. Well, you were not afraid of the spider and you went further. It's not the ultimate barricade. Ah! Shut up, brain. I was really scared of the spider. I just had very important business. If any robbers or thieves get here, once they meet with a spider, they'll run away as fast as they can. You think so? Yeah, I do think so. Thanks! The girl is glowing with happiness and looks you straight in the eyes. It was really nice to talk to you, but I have to go to the forest. Please be careful. And don't forget to give Amari the painkiller before the potion. I won't. Goodbye. You turn around and go to the window. Oh, Mr. Skeleton. That's your fate if we won't be careful. I understand. Into the forest! Into the thick of it! Boop! Into the thick of it! Boop! Into the thick of it! Ugh. You enter a dense, a dark, dense forest. dark forest. The rotting the smell rotting from the town no longer town reaches, no here. reaches here. It smells of it pine smells needles of pine and moisture. moisture. Twelve sycamores. Twelve sycamores. Ugh. I should've asked for more detailed directions. Right, there's monsters in here, right? What was it? You are not going to check it out. Move away from that sound and quiet. You keep looking for the clearing that the girl described to you when suddenly... Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. What? What? <gasps> oh, is the tree alive? Oh no, I didn't mean it. I'll probably die. Quickly collect more moss. You managed to grab a little bit more moss and... Yeah. I thought so. Just wanted to make sure I died there. I just trying to get like all the death endings while I'm here. Might as well. Uh, let's see the other two options. <gasps> oh, my little hair's so cute. Try to talk. You slowly put down collected moss on the ground and raise your hands. I mean no harm. I collect ingredients for my friend. He is in great danger. Are you crazy? He's a tree. Run from it. Int. 
or come to destroy forests. But they give nothing back. We have to use the benefits of the forest, otherwise we will not survive. Everything needs har harmony. I was just trying to help my friend Amari. Can you just sneakily gather the moss? I'll just die again. We need berries and meat to stay nourished. We need flowers and leaves for potions to heal ourselves. We need wood to keep us warm. Your last phrase obviously anchored the tree. It started to lift its leg to crush you. You quickly grab the moss from the ground and run straight to Amari. Well, that was awkward. As you run up to Amari's house, you notice men shouting everywhere in the town. Some huts are on fire. Also, you can see some silhouettes burning as well. There's the smell of burnt meat in the air. You lock the door behind you and walk into Amari's room. He's dead, isn't he? I wasted a lot of time. Uh... Damn. Slow was right about the bird. Hold on, Amari. I'm going to prepare the painkiller. Then the medicine. Everything will be fine. You clear the nearest table and prepare everything you need. Move, trash! <laughs> Alright, you prepare the painkiller using the herbs you have on you. Good thing I didn't pick that particular memory with the painkiller recipe when I was getting here. Right, when I uh, when I replayed the first chapter just to get to chapter 2, or to get where we are now, um, I picked the failure one, the first one that I picked when we played the original, with the dead guy on the bed. Uh, yeah, otherwise Amari would have had a hard time. So the main potion, wolf moss is here, sawaki is here, pound everything and bring it to a boil. Duration of water, wolf moss and sawaki is 5 to 2 to 1. Heh, <laughs> you don't have enough moss. Damn it! I'm gonna make from what I have. Grr. Hold there, friend. I'm almost done. Remember what the girl told you when you started preparing the potion? Uh. Do not answer. Amare! There's a talk that you have a particular guest we're looking for. Damn it. Who's that? Why? You better open that door or else we're gonna kick it down. Quick, the potion! Wait, but the painkiller! Amari, drink it. Painkiller first. Then the potion. Amari? Well, seems you made your choice. <laughs> uh oh. Amari? <coughs> wow. That is very... <laughs> Dude, you okay? Thank you for playing the second chapter of Not Involved. Did I get a good ending, do you think? Probably wasted too much time. Oh, that's a pretty picture. What is actually her name? Hi, Sila. Do you want to go to the forest, Sila? How are you, Sila? Oh, her name's Sila. I see. I was in a rush to my friend. That is no excuse. Yeah, I'm putting you in the cage, buddy. Let's go. Imprisonment! Okay, so I probably want to get... I want to get there as quick as possible. I want to get back to Amari as quick as possible. So I'm just going to go and choose the, en the endings... Or just the answers or questions that get me the quickest. I didn't find any rope. What if I sneakily try to connect more moss? Will I die? This little here is so cute. So you have to sneakily gather the moss. That's awful. You slowly sit down with your back closer to the moss and put your hands behind your back. Nobody, Nobody try, try to find, to find compromise, compromise before, before people, people respect, respect forest. forest. They give, they give as, much as much as they, as they take. As they, th yeah, totally. That's how it totally should be these days as well. Uh-huh, yeah. You slowly and carefully tear off some moss behind your back. Do you do you think, do you think that, I don't do you think that I don't feel that? Don't feel that? Um, damn it. Okay, I get it. Yeah, all right. You angry. I get it. Okay. Well, see, that's what I thought was going to happen. That's why I didn't really try. Um, everything needs harmony. I was just trying to help my friend Amari. Amari, Amari, brings, Amari sacrifices brings sacrifices when he take. He does. Oh, we don't have time for that. Something bad is happening in town right now. I need to hurry. Okay, I'll, let me save it here, because I actually want to ask what sacrifices. Blood. blood. That I can give you. Where do I pour my blood? On ground. Ah, son of a bitch! You take a small knife out of your backpack, roll up your sleeves, and cut your hand, and bleed to the ground. Uh... Okay, alright, chill! Holy crap, you're so loud! What kind of blood is it? Who are you? Take the moss and run! What the heck? What am I? What kind of demon do you have in you, little doctor?
That was so freaking loud. <laughs> That's what happened when you give important memories to the worms. Oh, so you get like degraded? Your blood changes? What happened? Holy. It's just about freaking murdered that tree. Oh! Oh no! Wait, so what happened? I actually got the potion right, but they still... So, the third chapter is gonna be him getting captured? But then I'll just die, won't I? I went like as quick as possible. Is that really the only two endings? Dang. Okay, let me load here. We don't have time for that. Something bad is happening in the town right now. I need to hurry. Brum. Brum. Who? Lumberjack. Lumberjack. Take, Take what, what you, you need, need, but, but make, make sure, sure, that sure that he is, is all right. Is all right. Deal. I'm going to pick up more wolf moss. <laughs> what is it? Why does this tree care about this lumberjack? Something is off. That is the same tree. Before leaving, you tell the tree. I will try my best if I get to him in time. But if something goes wrong, I won't be able to help. Just, Just tell, him. tell him. Don't try, try to try beat the, to world. the world. You nod and run towards Amari. Is that faster now? Am I faster? Uh, so the third chapter is gonna be... Like, if I make the potion right, the third chapter is gonna be him getting captured. Or maybe Amari's gonna wake up and save me, I don't know. Man, I think that's it. I think that's really just like all the endings that we can get. Maybe all the possible ways that we can die. Well, that was fun. That was not involved. Chapter two. I had a blast. I think it was maybe even better than the first chapter because now it's like there was like so many different ways to die. Like they really like improved their choices where it made it seem like what you decided actually really did change the course of events with almost like everyone. Like the way you died, the way you lived. I can't believe that bird betrayed me. <laughs> What's up with that bird though? What was up with that bird? Who knows? Anyway, no remorse for killing that bird. Uh, it deserved to be locked in the cage after what it did to my little doctor boy. I have no clue what the third chapter is gonna be, but I'm so excited to figure out because I'm like, these end up like such cliffhangers. Like the first one ended with Amari eating the chicken legs or whatever, the chickens, the pigeons birds and finding our friend and now we now i think I, I did heal him correctly but i still i still get captured so yeah so thank you ladies and gentlemen for coming to my masquerade i upload every wednesday yes i have changed my uploading schedule so if you want to see more gameplay videos and don't forget to subscribe to get an invitation to my next masquerade and click the like button to get this video to other people and to support me your host para bye